Yeah, well, one of my buddies in Indiana has got a nice convertible like this in bright yellow, and he gets good prizes, but I saw the car, and he's going to watch the video, so i got to be careful what I say. It looks good from far, but it's... I'm not going to call it a Bondo buggy. That was your word. It was your term. A little spray paint over here, and well... This corner here has been beat to shit and stretched and oh, beat to shoot and hammered and we got to call up California Corvair and somewhere just east of LA, it used to be an Oxnard and we got to get a new corner here. This corner is unfixable unless you're a cheap labor Mexican. There's no Mexicans on the street corner at the Home Depot waiting for work, so. <laughs> it's not, if you go to California, they're sitting there waiting for work and they're eager to work. Corvair lettering, let's see if we can get some of those. How'd you do with that, Jim? Whoa! It's gone. You worked it some more? Yeah. Gone. Yeah, I figured I'd play with it again and I'd, I'd cut a piece of roll round stock, stuck it in the groove. And yeah, it's gone. It's gone. I've got to just serve. I told, I told uh, Brian when we were talking about this deal in the car, I said, don't be mad at me if I tell you I'm not happy with something. I'll tell you before you paint it. I've, got too discerning of an eye, it gets me in trouble. <laughs> well, it does, because it's more work. Yeah. Door handles are off, we'll have those all greased up, we'll get a gasket kit. Oop. No lead work here, lead's bad for the blood. Oh, <laughs> no, no. We'll fix this baby up. Oh, get the proper contour back in here. This lip was dragged and the spot weld on the inside yeah. was torn. See how loose that is? On this side, stronger. So we got to re-weld on the inside. Yeah. There's a second piece of steel. When that lip got torn, tore the little spot weld inside here, so it'll have to be put back together. Yeah. Oh, it's a little bondo repairs. Got to get them just right. Yeah. That's a big crease along here, so we. Spot weld to it, yank it out real gentle and work it, work it till it's yeah. just right. No bondo buggy here. Still some shine to that white paint. 50 year old white paint just about, 48 years old. Was there a mirror reinforcement on the Corvair? So you got three holes. Which are the originals? Some sticker, California sticker was there. Oh, and the cowl. I gotta look at that cowl too. Oh, on the phone. Mosquitoes. Got them. Splat. Lubricate the linkages here and make sure we get some blue paint, whatever blue paint we choose. Polish those up. It should be brass. Then we got this racing car. Whoo! This thing's been around the block. Small block Chevy. Never been to the race strip racing strip around here. Sitting on a Monte Carlo frame or something. Glass packs. Whew. Racing car. Hmm. Yeah. Going racing. Gets cream, just pounded out. And then we got this gentleman here with this. Was it a, it's a Conquest? Conquest. And what was the name of the company that made it? Oh, all yeah. Yeah. The Yeah. Ladawi. Ladawi. Ladawi Coach Works on a Henry J. 54 Henry J. 54 Henry J. Back then, I suppose, they were $100 cars. Yeah. Is there any known to exist other than yours? I don't know. I heard about the upside down windshield. <laughs> Anybody got a Chevy Citation radio? We need a nice AM FM stereo Chevy Citation vertical radio. We don't not want any crazy eBay price tags either. I've got one in the country, but I'm not going there. I'll get beaten up by mosquitoes. Conquest by Ladawi. 1960s. Northern California, San Francisco or Sacramento, Bakersfield, Fresno, Modesto, Inland Empire. I don't remember now. Yeah. I'll have to look it up in one of my car craft magazines. Very interesting car. Well, where are we? Oh, that old mobile sitting there looking sadder and sadder in the ramp side. But, 
The body man needs a new right front fender edge, so we're at the big barn. I've already been inside here. I brought my tools in Toronado. Oh, i got to remember to drop off the hood struts. i got some new ones. And let's see what this thing looks like. I needed a new cowl vent. And this one is no good. It's all pitted. What a shame. All rusted. Huh, it's amazing the bucket seats are in this good a condition. Well, at least this one is. <laughs> That's a 65 bucket seat. This is a 64 bucket seat. Junk. Good padded dash. But, what we're here for today? This. And it doesn't look like anybody's been messing with it. No rust. No bondo. Beautiful. So, got my tripod here. Let's set it down. And we'll commence to do some surgery. Get that adjusted. Whoops, a daisy. And down she goes. Get that adjusted just right. Over. And we'll cut this sucker off. Set the camera a little further. I'm sure it's good and crooked. Got my grinder, got a couple of batteries. And where do we mangle this thing? Uh, hmm. Guess halfway up the headlight. What a shame. What do you see here? Yep, you got a full view of me hacking off the right front of this fender. What a crying shame. Hmm. Should I do it from here? I guess it doesn't matter. He'll just trim it to where he needs it. He needs this area down here behind the bumper. But I'll give him a little extra. That battery sounds real good. Where's Dutch Urban Miner when you need him? I'm sure he's got some good cutoff tools. Goes that battery. All right, I got my lithium ion. Plus, I got another one in the radio, the Dewalt radio. Crank up! Years, 
a mess. Now I've got to cut the front. I can barely get in there. Because this car is up against the T-Rex. I don't know how long this battery will last. Hmm. Well, let's see what we can do. The grinding wheel's almost gone. I better readjust it. Get to the bottom. Another two inches. I think there's a reinforcement in the back. That might cause me some grief. Oop. I missed a little. Right on the edge. Think so. There. Oop. A little hairline piece. Ding! <laughs> There it is. Nice edge. Mine is mangled. Chunk. Corvair letters. Yep. Yep. Parts car. Rusted chunk. Some good parts on it. Nice door. <laughs> nice floor. <laughs> yeah, you could see the floor show. Father used to make a joke about that. Nice glass door. This thing was last on the road, I think. 1970 something. <laughs> Well, all right. We had our fun for the day. This is a genuine, genuine 64 Spider convertible. And it's junk. See the dimple on the spare tire holder? That lifted up the spare tire, the wheel. So it would clear the turbo, which was uh, right over there. That's how you tell a Spider. Easily retrofitted, but... I know this was a spider. I know it. Spider. Somebody asked me about the Suburban. Yeah, I've got a spare Suburban. Pretty similar looking to the one I'm driving. Huh? The only difference is, this is a Chevrolet. And mine's a GMC. But not much difference. This one's from Texas. In my Elgin, Texas. Down the when I'm buying the one that I'm driving right now, I saw this one for sale on some obscure website. I called the guy, made him an offer, and he shipped it here. And it got whacked by the shipping guy on the other side. The guy that was shipping it was a friggin' jerk. Then he says that it had damage when he picked it up. I said, excuse me, I have the bill of lading here that you or your guys checked off, and that's just a bunch of small scratches, just little stuff. 
Put that little dent there. You I feel. Went to the IGA. Just clobbered the corner. Some Christmas cheer. I mean, clobbered I it. My left front as bad as what I'm driving currently. Big freaking dent. It takes no responsibility. Right and I fought with him, and, and I called his insurance company, and this went back and forth. And I got nowhere. But, he's got a bag of turbo. No time to show you now, no time to play. And I gotta go. The root loops is wasted. Make me an offer. All right, we had our fun. Had just enough battery power. We got that corner that we needed. And we'll close up the big barn. Suburban over there. And suburban in there. Gotta have spare suburbans. Never know when you might need a spare suburban. Three quarter ton, 6.2 diesel. The other one has a turbo. This one doesn't. You can sure use it. Life at the big barn. Thanks for looking. Got our jug. Santa Claus is coming soon in his big old rusty sleigh. For rust and smoke, the heaters broke, the door just blew away. I light a match to see the dash, and then I start to pray. The frame is bent, the muffler went, the radio went okay. Oh, what fun it is to drive this rusty Chevrolet. Rust and smoke, the heaters broke, the door just blew away.